Hello, my lovelies, and we're back with another episode of the Not So Very Challenge. And we just tried to regain our passion, and I think we may have actually managed it. Oh, but it's only good for 35 minutes if we don't go to work for an hour. Oh, we will see if this works. But our girl... Where are you going to eat? Are you going to eat at your dad's house because it's quiet? I mean, fair. If this fades, we can try again because she's super focused from all of the chess yesterday. Which we are super close. 58% complete. I think we can finish her aspiration after work today. And that will be another thing to cross off the yellow list. Oh, look at that snoozy kitty. That is so incredibly cute. Well, we were successful when we tried and we did it within two hours of work. So <laughs> we'll see if that works. That was a weird glitch. Ah, uh, somebody cut you off at the uh, dishwasher. Early riser, somebody is using his diaper. But everybody is awake and needs are looking pretty good. So if either of the boys gets up, we should have this handled. All right. Daddy-o, you should change that diaper. That should keep his hygiene from falling too far. Then we can do a potty train on the dust turn. And we gain passion before going to work. Let's see if we did it right. We'll know by the end of the day. All right, you have school in a couple hours. Use the restroom so you can have some really good high needs. Potty train Dustin. He's a little hungry, but he's not bad. Just potty train the little man. Is he being defiant? No, don't babble. Just potty train him. Uh, <sighs> no, we're not playing. We're potty training. Oh, Grayson's awake and he's mad because he doesn't like getting up. Let's get... Um, It's ten after seven, so let's get Kaysen up here to help. Grayson. Tandem potty. Alright, baby one is done. Right, you, sir, are hungry and you need fun. So why don't you head downstairs? You are super hungry, but you are still getting potty trained. Oh, Dusty got communication level two. Nicely done, my man. Grab a servant of that young man. You know what? You can have the glimmer stone. Do you have a glimmer stone? You do not have a glimmer stone. Interesting. I wonder if it's because he wasn't in the magic user cradle like his brother was. Right. Why don't you slide? We'll just alternate between the slide and the ball pit until you run out of energy completely. Because you woke up well before you were actually ready to wake up. The rest of these are gravy, but I would very much like to max that movement. Because then his movement skill, his fitness skill, will be better throughout his entire life. And that is very important for gray generation. How are your needs and what are you up to? Your needs are good. This is going nicely, but you are tired enough that we are going to have you nap on this love seat. How are you doing, my good mammal? Gonna watch your brother. I think that's actually really good for your thinking skill. Potty level two, movement level two. But then we kind of left you to your own devices. Yeah, watching your brother is really good for your thinking. 
Can you watch Dad? Oh, Ariel's home. You are gonna do your homework and then you're gonna do something fun. Okay, so why don't you take care of your plants? It doesn't look like anybody needs any attention. You're level two potty. Can you potty yourself? Yes. Watch Ariel later go potty by yourself now. Did you clear the fear? Did it work? Yes, 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 yes! We've had that thing for weeks. We're free. Grab some leftovers. Let's put you in your hot weather gear before you die. How are your other needs? Oh, you got to pee and you need fun. Oh, look at how much better her work performance was today. Because we need to clear this dazed before we go crazy on the chess. But I really want to finish that chess tonight. All right. Pee like a champion. And then practice yoga. And that should be fun, I hope. Yes, this is fun, and it's clearing our mental fog. We'll just keep practicing this until our mental fog is clear, and then we'll hit the chess. Oh, Let me check something. All right, the kids age up the day before Ariel, so we're going to put them in bunk beds, and then the next day we'll do a remodel <laughs> because we're going to give them separate rooms after she moves out. How are you doing? I wish this was going faster. I would like to give my sims other things to eat, but they keep getting on this. I might sell this thing. No more than you deserve. After she finishes eating, she's gonna finish her homework and then she's gonna take care of her needs. Do you work tomorrow? No, you don't. You have Tuesday off, so we can just do this until such time as your mental fog is done and then play chess all night. No. Absolutely not. Grayson is awake. He had a nightmare. You guys have a night late though. All right, dad. Uh, can we cuddle him? I snuggle this little man. He's got to wait till the kid gets down the stairs before he can snuggle him. Who are you? Prince Volkov. So, one of Hunter's relatives. You finally taking care of your kid? Awesome. Does he need anything right now? He's pretty hungry. Let's get him some food. Five left, two left. Alright, sir. You're going to eat that. How are you doing, Dahlia? It looks like you stopped doing yoga to take a shower, which... A bath. I mean, valid. You know what? Let's do this. You have all day tomorrow to clear the dazed. Alright, you... Go potty. You know what? You can even do potty help. And then by then, Kaysen can put you to bed. Yeah, the ball pits off limits until you go to sleep. Or Royce can put you to bed. I suppose. How far did you get? I mean, you are dying of sleep. For sleep. Got another 10-ish percent. Ariel, it's 2 a.m. How are you already up? You know what? Why don't you go outside... Release a Sky Lantern, make an offering, and then you can go back to bed for a couple hours. That will give you a nice little whim taken care of. Oh, hug, and brush, and then the fruit. Casey, what are you doing? Flopping. Thank you for being a responsible sim and getting leftovers, Ariel. 
play chess. I would like to destroy your needs for my whim because everyone is making me angry. No, I just really, really want to knock something for the challenge off. Kaysen, is something broken in there? Kaysen, why don't you try fixing the toilet? And then it won't... Do I know the Reperio spell? I do know the Reperio spell. Do I know Scrubberoo? I do know Scrubberoo. It'll be fun to have Royce be a magic user. I'll just never use it because I'm worried about cheating the challenge and so I won't use it on the things that have nothing to do with the challenge. Get to 75% and I'll let you eat. I'm, I'm spicy today. This is not very cozy of me, guys. What's going on with me, hmm? Why don't you take a nap? Because you're up really, really early. Oh, Dustin's up. Both of them are up. All right, sir. Down you go to get some food. All right, 76%. Go grab some leftovers. What? Send alone. That sounded like a fear. Oh, Ariel is going through a phase. All right, first things first. Dustin is here. Pick up a serving. We will have somebody give you a bath. No, no, don't get distracted by your mother. Darlia, grab a serving. Yeah, your kid stinks. We're gonna deal with it. Dustin, where are you going? Let's go on a magical journey with this child. See where in the heck he is going. He is starving and desperately needs a bath. I need to remember to put that in Ariel's pocket when she gets back. No, no, don't eat your food. All right, you've eaten. Grab a shower. Get some sleep. I'll wake you up in a little while. Looks like everybody's getting leftovers today. Yeah, it stinks because you keep starting food in the steam cooker and not eating it. Okay. No. Absolutely not. Get leftovers. If you... Mm. All right, Kaysen. Discard that. And then you are going to give Dustin a bath. Your sleep is yellow. Everything else is perfect. Movement level four. Yes. All right, Dahlia, how are you doing? I am so determined to do this and so frustrated because nothing seems to be going right. It's just so many sims. But I guess it's good practice because Grey Gen is supposed to have a bigger family. Awesome. Dustin can now go potty by himself. Via Ju. Uh, do we want to graduate early? Okay. Awesome. We are graduated. Earned our diploma. Let's sell our homework. We're not going to move out till we can have a career. But this means we can be home full time to help with the kids. This was a purely selfish decision on Edith's part. You need fun. Why don't you practice hopscotch? Come on, Dahlia. 92%. In my case, instead of being a distraction, why don't you help? So close. 94. No, 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 no. We're going to cancel that. And we are going to change our outfit into our hot weather gear. Why don't 
about you go sit down? We're getting, we're getting close. This is going to be a real close fight between our need to sleep. Nope, nope, nope. Don't distract mommy. Oh, good. Okay, you're really, really sleepy. Daddy, why don't you read Dustin to sleep? No chatting, only playing. I know you're exhausted, but you only need four more percent. You can do this. You can do this, Dahlia. Kaysen, join the game, but don't get chatty. Nope, 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 nope. Who died? Are what? Who's calling me? Oh, the other horse is dead. Okay, let's assess where we are as a family. You are hungry and stinky. Daddy, give him a bath. Royce needs to eat. Kaysen needs to eat. Dahlia's burned out. <laughs> How long does that last? It's hard to be productive. She should take a break. Let's look at this. And yes, I know I did this to myself. But we only need one more percent. Uh, uh, seriously? Stop. Give Grayson a bath. He is stinky and hungry. Why? Why would you play with him instead? After I told you to give him a bath. No, you're, you're not strict. You're just sensible. Thank you. I'm very cranky with Royce. I'm very cranky with Royce. After your bath, you're going to go here. And Royce is going to finish cooking the gulp gym I told him to. I'm going to chuck this steamed rice. Because we do not need a bunch of steamed rice. Grab all of the servings and throw them away. <laughs> Are we finally out of all of that coconut rice and... What is left in the fridge? Got five servings. Alright, Grayson. You're going to change into your hot weather gear. Then you're going to have some mango sticky rice. You pee like a champion. Oh, but not in that toilet. Pee like a champion downstairs. Right, you young man are hyper as heck. How are your skills? Let's work on your imagination. Let's just take you in a different direction from your brother so you can be your own person clean all this up and then we are going to get that last percent you're going to be burned out for a minute that's fine but we are at 99 percent and after this you never have to do anything after work after this we have nothing to do except for make sure that you promote with ease so you could come home and play and do absolutely nothing thoughtful after work. Just 100%. Come on, tick over. Tick over. And that is our aspiration. We did it. Now you can go to bed and sleep. Oh. <sighs> Literally, the only thing left in the challenge is to complete the career, which means we can come home every day and manage our burnout. Hey girl, it's 2 a.m. Why don't you go to sleep? Yeah, let's go to sleep. What are your needs? Your needs are pretty good, and as long as you're not too loud, you won't wake your brother up. Have at you, sir. And Kaysen is awake. Alright, why don't you... Use the restroom and get some leftovers, Kaysen. Oh, look at the wet leaf texture. That actually looks so good. 
Talia, how are your needs besides sleep? Your needs besides sleep are great. So we'll just let you sleep up until the last minute. You're starting to get tired. So after you finish with that toy, we're going to have you use the potty. Having two top potties for two babies was brilliant, if I do say so myself. How did we do on that imagination? Yeah, we're up to level three imagination. Level two potty. Got a nice little balanced baby. And we got three days to get those up higher still. My only real goal for the boys at toddler age is to max out Dustin's um, fitness. All right, you are waking up hungry and you gotta pee. All right, first, you're gonna go potty. Uh, lecture about eating human food. Cold. We can't put it away because the cat's eating it. That's annoying. Yay! Now I can put it away. Now you praise and pet that good girl. What? Everybody knows. Oh, my sister died. That's so sad. Now everybody is going to be sad. All right, go here, sweetie. We'll get you some food. We're tense at work because we're burned out. I'm sorry, but we're still doing excellent. And I just think that can't move. Um. So I want to impress the boss for a promotion. How should you go about it? Complete a side project. Take something off of somebody's list. Yes, large performance game. And our needle didn't move. It'll be okay when we're done being burned out. Which will have nothing to do but relax tomorrow. It'll be fine. We're going to promote so quick after this. It's going to all be good. Did you go potty, sweetie? You are getting hung. Okay, you are more tired than you're hungry, but I'm going to make you go downstairs and get some food. And then we'll have somebody put you to bed. All right, sir, I need you to slide and play in your ball pit. So with how hot and rainy it has been, that ball pit would be so gross. Like, it would be a mold disaster. Okay, Sin, you're not doing anything. You should pet the cat. And play with the laser pointer. Okay, 66 before he goes down the slide. To 73. So that's 7%, 8%-ish. If you are done eating, why don't you go to sleep, my love? This mess everywhere. I guess you can pass out first. Max tab movement! Right, why don't you babble at daddy? Blow a kiss. Sing a song. Let's work that communication since you're awake. Oh, who's calling Kason? The ghost of my dead sister. By all means. It's so surreal the way Sins handles death. Kason has to pee, but he's gonna let his son give him a loving hug. Alright, Kason, go potty before you wet yourself. Let's go ask Grandpa for a book. Grandfather. Read me a story. I crave the words that make pictures in my head. Once upon a time, there was a solar panel. Are you at least down to single sads? I know I'm borrowing trouble because he just aged up, but can you imagine when Kaysen dies? It's going to be worse than when Ruby died because all of the kids know him. I don't think there's... What can you do? Uh, morning at a tombstone or urn? He's a toddler. How would he even find something like that? So after this potty, he's probably going to go down for some sleep. 
but our big goal of maxing out his movement skill before he aged up is done. <sighs> Today is a success. No matter what else goes wrong. <laughs> Dahlia is home. She's burned out for 24 hours, but that is fine because she doesn't have to do anything. Oh, her next work day after she's not burned out anymore, she's going to get promoted. All right, grab some leftovers and change into your hot weather clothes. Oh, how much longer is summer? Oh, next week is autumn. Here's hoping it cools off, but we are in Sims, Indonesia. So this is a tropical country. After we finish eating... Why don't we do a yoga routine? We'll do energy centering. No, I don't want to be a style influencer. I'm an astronaut. Dustin, are you still awake, sweetie? Oh, I forgot to tell you to go to sleep after you finished on the potty. That's valid. Oh my gosh, he was just sitting there. Staring into nothing. Sad. Because Auntie Fatima died. That's so sad. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need I need the sims that my sims care about to stop dying for a minute. We've been giving ourselves pep talks all day. Are we almost done? We're so much closer on Ariel. Why don't you mop that? I'll get this. And then you can go give yourself a pep talk in a different mirror. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're down to one sad. And we're energized. Yeah, Dolly can like wellness. It's honestly probably good because that means on top of it helping with the burnout, it will also like um, get, uh, help her fun more. Because it already helps her fun, but it'll help her fun more. Jason, how are you? Your needs are pretty perfect. Can you go for a mindful walk? I energized job. Why don't you solve the hard problems? I mean, I guess she did come home for work and then immediately just do yoga all night. That would make you pretty sweaty. I'm going to give them a higher quality tub. Now, maybe we will stop running over to Kason's house. To use his shower. Ariel is feeling very confident and has 16 hours left so by tomorrow morning let's let's take a shower because that should also help her grief. Case is just like I never met the lady. What? I'm gonna send Case it up in the rocket ship. Go ahead and explore space, sweetie. You can do it for your aspiration. Alright, you feel better after eating. How much grief do you have left? 21 hours. Hmm. What do you want to do? Okay, it's 10 o'clock at night. You should go to bed. A lush planet. Bleep, bleep. Kaysen's rocket ship has detected an unexpected object on the horizon. As he gets closer, he can't believe his eyes. Green billowy treetops, crystal blue streams. Could it be? The mystical lush planet. Kaysen switches off his turbo boosters as he breaks through the planet's atmospheres. Attempt a landing. You guys should go to bed. I know you're not tired because you have so many other moodlets going, but you should go to sleep. Cruising slowly now, Kaysen glides over miles and miles of thick jungle, at last a clearing. But the clearing seems to be cluttered with alien ruins. Should he land there anyway, where there's less chance of crashing, or opt for the dense, dark cover of the jungle? Let's try for the jungle. Little blue critters with teeth. It's a tight squeeze. But Kaysen's rocket ship lands without a scratch. Instantly, it's surrounded by blue furry creatures. They're small, about the size of a common house cat, but Kaysen has never seen anything quite as toothy. There are hundreds of them. Should he try to capture one alive, or euthanize one and bring it back for analysis? I'm going to say alive. 
Hoping his allergy stay under control, Kaysen lunges into the missing mob into the hissing mob and gropes about wildly. Pain shoots up his arm as his fingers close around a wrinkling velvety beast. Success! He wrangles the creature onto the ship and thrusts it into an iron cage. Kaysen can't wait to see what they'll make of this back home. Kaysen found an alien. Oh my. Where should we put our space porcupine? Can it go on top of this? Perfect. Uh, total brain block. Seriously impacts work performance and promotions. Alas, I didn't do anything after work. Oh, 24 hours. We'll be fine. Case it has an alien. Where can we put an alien? That does not look very soft furred. Hmm. I have my doubts. I love the floating little skill bar over the rocket pad. That is delightful. And we are home! What? A dust Excuse me, I need to go in my game options because I don't have gust dust mechanics turned on. Yeah. Dust system is turned off. Alright, the dust bunny is gone. Because we don't have dust mechanics turned on. Alright, why don't you use the restroom? Oh, and uh, we got a baby on the move. We are hungry though. Why don't you go downstairs? I literally just fed you. Wait, okay. Before you go downstairs. Oh, well, we'll eat first. Worst case scenario, we end up using our diaper. Ariel. You're hungry, but first, why don't you clear out the rest of your sadness? Oh, Neeb. Well, everybody's waking up. Guys, it's 3 a.m. Don't eat the gold chip. That's... That's Ariel's. Eat the stuff that's in your inventory. No, Ariel, stop, 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 stop. I'm making the kid give you your food back. Down to four hours. Okay. Eat that. Turn my back for less than a second. I think this kid's going to end up using his diaper. I hope not. We'll tell him to go potty. We'll see how it goes. Let's watch this a little faster, though. Oh, everybody's awake. All right, before you eat, use the restroom up here because the restroom downstairs is getting kind of trafficy. Case, how are your needs? You're a little hungry. Why don't you have a quick meal? Why don't you have an acai bowl? We made it to the potty! Bow, 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 bow. And Dustin is awake. He is stinky. And requires food. He can now move with great speed. Look at him go! All things told, though, I think I'm going to end this here. And I feel like as frustrating as it is to try to run a household with this many sims in it, I'm still pretty pleased with our progress today. Dustin has maxed out his movement still. Grayson is no slouch. We finished Dahlia's aspiration. So that is all done. All that remains is four. I want to say four promotions. And one of them is just waiting for her burnout to clear. It's already going to be cleared before we go to work tomorrow. But we're going to clear it even more. I'm sorry, sweetie. I meant to feed you and I got distracted. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had fun watching my <laughs> slow descent into frustrated madness. I might sell the steam cooker. I enjoy the steam cooker, but I might sell it. We'll see how it goes. In the meantime, I have been Edith Ivy, and this has been the Not So Berry Challenge Yellow Edition. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, maybe even subscribe and ring that notification bell to bring you back for more. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. Have a happy time zone wherever in the world you are, and I will see you next time.